Hello, welcome to another video. Sometimes you think some things are not relevant to you, so you don't pay attention to it. For example, do you ever think 5 factorial is relevant to you? Well, if you've taken pre-calculus or you've taken Calc 2, yep, it's relevant to you. And now the double factorial even comes into your life if you take differential equations when you get to power series because you're going to be dealing with a lot of multiplication of numbers when you're trying to solve a differential equation using power series. Okay, um, what does it mean to write 5 with an exclamation mark? It does not mean surprise, the answer is 5. It means 5 factorial, which means you're multiplying from 5 all the way to 1. So for example, the problem we have on the board requires evaluation or what you call simplification. So if you're going to write this, you're going to write 5 times 4 times 3 times 2 times 1. If you're going to write 2 factorial, it's going to be 2 times 1. These things happen when you keep repeating a process. You start having numbers that multiply. But what does 10 double factorial mean? Okay, let me tell you what it does not mean, which is what you're more likely to think of if you don't know what it means. So let's say that what we have here, 10 factorial factorial is not equal to 10 factorial, then you take the factorial of it. No, this is not what it means. This is not true because a double factorial just means instead of taking one step at a time, you're taking two steps at a time. Okay, now there's so much into double factorials. There are also triple factorials, which are not usually common, but it's always good for you to have these tools in your hands so that when they show up, you know how to write them in shorthand form. Just imagine if you didn't know that you could write five times four times three times two times one, you could just simply write it as five factorial. Imagine what would happen if this number was bigger. Let's say the number was 222 factorial. Do you know how much space it would take to even work that out? But the shorthand form of this is just, just put a, an exclamation mark, which is the factorial sign after the number and you're done. You don't have to write so much. So what would this be? this expression if we try to simplify it. Let's do it here and then I'm going to show you the secret to the double factorial when the number is even. Okay, even a shorter way to write it. So let's go. We have 10 double factorial divided by 5 factorial 2 factorial. Well, this is the same thing as 10 now the next thing you multiply by because it's a double factorial will not be 9 you're going to go down two steps. It's going to be 10 multiplied by 8 times 6 times 4 times 2 and two steps from this is 0. We don't need that. You always stop at 1. Don't go down to 0. Okay. Or you can say 0 factorial which is where you end which is going to be 1 which doesn't change anything but here what we have here will be 5 times 4 times 3 times 2. I'm going to leave out the 1. It doesn't change anything and then 2 factorial is going to be just 2 times 1, which is 2. Okay, so I'm done. All you have to do is simplify this, okay? What can we take out? Now, I'm going to take out things that I can easily take out. I know that 5 times 2 will take out 10. And I know that 3 times 2 will take out 6. And I know 4 will take itself out here. And the answer is... Ladies and gentlemen, 16. So the simplified form of this is just the number 16. <laughs> okay, so in case somebody gives you this and say decode it. But let me show you something fascinating. Okay, and I'm going to end this video. Whenever the number whose double factorial you're taking is even, there's an, a better way to write it. Just imagine if I wrote 10 this way. I'm going to write 10 double factorial as 2 times k. Look, double factorial. I just want to show you, for any even number, it doesn't matter. So, remember in this case our k is 5. So, here, let's say that k in this case is equal to 5. Okay? How do I write this out? 
2k double factorial is equal to, we're going to do the same thing, the first number is 2k multiplied by the next number is going to be what? Just subtract 2. We keep going steps of 2, so it's going to be 2k minus 2. The next number is going to be 2k minus 4. The next number is 2k minus 6, right? And the next number is going to be you just keep going until you get to the very last number. So this is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. What's the last number? It's going to be 2k minus 8. Now watch what this looks like. That's it. You see that this is divisible by 2, by 2, by 2, by 2. Everything has 2 in it. Let's take all the 2's out. If I take out all the 2's, I'm going to have 2k times 2 times k minus 1 times 2 times k minus 2 times 2, you see where I'm going? k minus 3 times 2 times k minus 4. How many 2's do I have? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. I have 5 2's which is still the same number as this k. So I can write this as 2 times 2 times 2 times 2, 5 times. Multiplied by k times k minus 1, times k minus 2, times k minus 3, times k minus 4. What do you think this is? This is what we call k factorial. See? 5 times 4 times 3 times 2 times 1. And what is this number? In this case, our 5 is k. So, you can say that 2k double factorial is always equal to 2 to the k times k factorial. This was the message I was trying to pass and I hope you learned something. See you in the next video. Never stop learning because those who stop learning have stopped living. Bye-bye.